Good afternoon. I am here for my citizenship interview. Good afternoon. Please show me USCIS appointment letter and ID. Sure. Here they are. Good. You can come in. Please put all your belongings in your handbag into the bin and then walk through the metal detector. Okay. Please take your belongings and proceed to the customer service on the sixth floor. Yes, thank you. Hi. How can I help you? Hi. I am here for the citizenship interview. Can I have your USCIS appointment letter and ID, please? Sure. Here is my appointment letter and ID. I will take your photo and fingerprints. When you are ready, please face the camera. Now put your right index finger on the scanner. OK. There's also hand sanitizer if you need any. Thank you. Here is your number please have a seat. We will call you when your appointment is ready. Thank you. Number P27. Mrs. Nari. Yes, that is me. Please follow me. Hi, I am Officer Mateo. I will be conducting your naturalization interview today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Before we'll start the interview, I will have to place you under oath. Please place your belongings next to your chair and remain standing. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. You can lower your hand now and have a seat. Thank you, officer. How are you doing today? I am doing fine, but I am a bit nervous. Don't be nervous, you will be fine. Have you been waiting a long time to speak with me today? Not too long, about 20 minutes. Do you have any questions before we start? I don't think so. Can you show me your green card, your passport and the state-issued ID, please? Yes, here they are. Do you know how to use a tablet? Yes, I do. Do you have any disability that requires accommodation for the interview today? No, officer. How are you eligible to become an American citizen? I married a U.S. citizen and have lived here for three years. 
Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I believe in the in the form of government in the U.S., and I would like to vote. Have you been studying hard for the interview? Yes, I have. It is the important interview for me. Good. Let's start with the civics test. First question: What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. That's right. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. Good. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Correct. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. That's right. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you the first time. Can you say that again? Okay. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Correct. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. All right, you got six questions correct and passed the civics test. Now I am going to check your ability to read and write in English. Please read the sentence on the tablet in front of you. Who has the right to vote? Correct. Now you use the stylus pen to write this sentence on the tablet. Citizens have the right to vote. Citizens have the right to vote. Good. You passed the English reading and writing test. Thank you. Now we will go over your application. Please tell me your current legal name. My current name is Nari Rangel. And have you used any other names before? No, officer. Do you want to legally change your name today? Yes, officer. Nami Rangel. So you want Nami Rangel on your certificate of naturalization, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, I have officially changed it. What's the best number to reach you? Eight five three two five seven seven eight seven five. What is your date of birth? My birthday is December nineteenth, nineteen eighty seven. What is your country of birth? Guatemala. Do you still in the same address since you've applied for citizenship? I just moved four months ago. What was the reason for that move? I had to move because I had a new job here. Okay, please tell me your new address. Thirty-seven seventy-five Ashwood Avenue, Los Angeles, California nine zero zero six six. Let me update that. Is that also your mailing address? Yes, officer. Did you file the AR eleven form? I don't know that I needed to do that. You should fill out that form within ten days. Whenever you move, you can do that online too. Yes, I will do that next time if I move.
Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Yes. Is your mother or father a U.S. citizen? No, officer. What is current your job? I am an executive assistant at Bank of America. What's your current marital status? I am married. Do you have any prior husband? No, I got married only one time. On the application it says that you got the green card for your husband, correct? When did you get your green card? September 15, 2012. Please show me your marriage certificate. Yes, here it is. What is your spouse's current job? He is a business development manager at Ecolab Company. How long has your spouse been working there? Nine years. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have two daughters and a son. Are they a U.S. citizen? Yes, officer. What are their names? Nora Lewis, Leah Lewis and Owen Lewis. Do you have their birth certificates with you? Yes, here you go. Have you taken any trips outside the U.S. during the last five years? Yes, I have taken seven trips. Please tell me your last trip. I went to Livingston City, Guatemala. What was the purpose of your trip? I visited my parents and my relatives. How long was that trip? It took about 40 days. Good. Now, let's move on to the next section. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No, officer. And why is that? Because I am not a citizen yet. That right. Have you ever failed to file your taxes or owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I never fail to file any taxes and I don't owe any taxes. Have you ever had any hereditary title or an order of nobility in your home country? No. Do you understand what an order of nobility is? It is a position given by a king or queen. Do you consider yourself a non-U.S. resident on your tax return since getting your green card? No, officer. Have you ever been involved with the Communist Party? No. Have you ever committed a crime for which you have not been arrested? No. What is a crime? An action that breaks the law. Have you ever helped anyone enter the U.S. illegally? No. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, I never. Do you know the meaning of prostitute? A person who has sex with another person for money. That's correct. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Sorry, officer. Can you rephrase the question, please? 
Okay. Did you ever drink too much alcohol? No. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. How about narcotics? An illegal drug such as heroin or cocaine. Did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person? No, officer. What is a weapon? An object such as a knife, gun, or bomb. Have you ever lied to receive any public benefit in the U.S.? No, officer. Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. What does bear arms mean? To own or use a gun. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, officer. What is civilian direction? A direction from a person who is not in the military. Excellent. Please make sure to review all the answers and confirm that they are accurate. Everything looks good. Great. Please sign print your name and date at the bottom of the page. Okay. Congratulation, you've passed the test in the interview. Here's a copy of your test results. I will recommend your application for approval. Thank you, officer. Do you have any questions? Yes. Do you know when my oath ceremony will take place? If your application gets approved, you will be scheduled for the O ceremony within a week or two. That's great. Thank you. You are welcome. I will walk you back to the waiting area. Thank you for your watching. See you in next part.